from being person to professional, from being professional. Individual who created opportunities. Individuals who believe in choices. Exploring the journey. Learning the process. Honoring their success. Celebrating their achievements. A face localization to revive the best moments of their life. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the brand new episode of Speak to Me. And this time we have a beautiful lady, a newly crowned Miss Grand Nepal 2020, organized by Bali Club Group, Nepal Chapter. And the lady is also a professional runway model. And other than that, a medical student. And this is all about Amrita Joshirana. Welcome to show, Amrita. Thank you, sir. It's my honor to be here. So how is life going on? Everything is going normal. Everything is just, you know, um, mixed up. Uh, definitely, I'm having studies, my normal life, as well as um, preparation for Ms. Grand International, going along, going together. Uh, and it's a mixed, adventurous life for now. So, if it is mixed, uh, so, can we separate it to make it more clear? Uh, separate it like a different, um, separate different sector from my life, you mean? The different thing I'm going on right now? So you are a student, you are a queen, oh, yes. and you are a model. So, yes. what would be your priority now? Um, first of all, I have given commitment to all the three. Uh, but I should be um, uh, using my presence of mind, which need more priority right now. Definitely, my classes are going hand in hand. I'm doing modeling. But for now, I just have one month period of time, and I have to buckle up and prepare myself for Miss Grand International. So I'm doing that, keeping a bit more, giving a bit more priority to Miss Grand International for now. So going back... Is it all planned and you wanted to be the part of modeling or it just happened, an offer came and you just, yes, let's give it a try or it was something that is a plan you wanted to be modeling? I, it was never in my head to be a model uh, because I come from a very studious background where no one is in uh, visual arts or no one is in modeling. No one have given their part for entertainment. So mm -hmm. it was totally new for me. Uh, the first journey started when I was in India. I was in class 12. So one of the designing teacher told me, why don't you stand up? And she just told me, come out of the class. And I just went outside and she told, you'll be working for, or you'll be walking for our uh, design section and you'll be working for a fashion show, which will be a graduation show of this college, she told me. And I was like, it was a shock for me. I wasn't prepared for that. So first two days, I just went. I was like, it was fun. I, I did not have to attend the class from school. They were sending me. I just went. I just walked in the heels. It was like, okay, it's a fun thing, boyo. But I lost interest in that. But at the end of the day, I realized I have to be professional in modeling because it's not just my work. It's uh, the designer who is working. It's the teacher who taught them how to design. It's the makeup artist. It's the crew, the the MC, everyone who is behind it. So uh, I realized, yes, modeling is something you have to take it seriously. It's not a joke. Mm -hmm. uh, I realized that. So I, mm -hmm. I did that show. I got a lot of praise. But my modeling journey stopped in India there because I came back to Nepal. I 
tried for medical medicine and then I applied uh, to entrance. We used to have entrance in Nepal, as everyone know. So I started preparing uh, for my entrance exam uh, for um, IOM, TU, Kolagi, KU, a pattern. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was trying for all, but the first priority was to give IOM. I am entrance exam, so I applied for it, though I did not apply for any other entrance apart from right. this IOM because my dad told apply for IOM, it's a um, government college money, it's into government, it's under government money. This is Amru, idea to and my dad thought that way. We did not know that KU, part and everything, every other college are equally good, but I'm like, the idea any boy, because we were brought up there. The idea boy in a government money because everybody thinks that it's best or Rwanda. It is the idea is going so I am not to apply for my le. Though later I realized that only Ramaracha I should have applied for KU. But thankfully, I think so my hard work paid off. Uh, I did not have to go through a year loss. Uh, mm -hmm. I passed out from uh, uh, with a very good number, uh, mm -hmm. and then I went out for orientation. Uh, and I got into the medical college that I'm studying right now. And at that time, one of the photographer named yeah. Pawan Joshi is a very good photographer right now. He is yeah. in highlights as well. So he was yeah. the one who just tracked me down to a to do a shoot and we just did a shoot. And after that, I realized that, yes, now modeling is also good. And maybe there is, you know, maybe the universe wants me to be a model as well. Just so I just got into me and I got lots of praise from people. Gornus, Duita Songi Longu Sokman Sokni, Ramru Kurao, that I'm studies like for no boss, and it is important. And project here, Ramru Project Sobani, I used to manage my time. Though it was very hard, manage Karthi time and accordingly I used to go ahead. Um, I used to uh, plan whether this will be uh, blocking my study or not. But to Sapura evaluate Karthi beforehand. And then I used to put forward my uh, uh, my feet in any, any project they give me. So after that, I go ahead, take part in the fashion show or any photo shoot they offer me. Uh, but that was pre-planned. As soon as I get a project, I plan it and then I I go ahead. But taking modeling was never pre-planned. Uh, taking uh, oh taking a part in beauty pageant was also not a pre-planned because uh, what happened about okay I talked about modeling I talked about medicine but for now I'll be talking about Miss Grand Nepal. It was very unpredictable for many people who know me i never i never thought i would go for any beauty person though many people told me why don't you go one until with due respect they maybe they saw something in me and they told why don't you go one until it was like, like never i would I want to go, yeah, more. I'll try, I'll take part in any beauty pageant, just to call you boy, you know, but I don't know, COVID, COVID, I missed COVID time, room of a seat, I was just scrolling Facebook, I just saw one advertisement, Ms. Grand Nepal, I saw Nisha Patak be there, and it's uh -huh. really, I saw the advocacy was, was stop war and violence, that was a very different advocacy. Never heard of that advocacy just a while. All the research got a kid, I saw one there, and I was like, okay, let's try my luck. Um, let's take part so, in yeah. it. So, uh, I take yeah. a hold on that. So, uh -huh. let's uh, keep this thing how you went into Grand Nepal. Ali Kiti Pachai. So, Ali Bani, we take out that uh, curiosity on uh, that thing. You are continuing uh, as a medicine student. So, modeling mm -hmm. the Mango plan, Matheno. Medicine, they force one is a plan, Matheno. Thio, thio, thio. Oily dehi thio. Medicine is to unsa India mo mo lechi thi apply kare. I I go I did not get into the college which I wanted. Okay, so mm -hmm. they told um, any thi um, need one exam unsa in India ma. So mo le engineering ra medicine ko entrance diye. That all medical all I mean all science student do that. Mm -hmm. Engineering me din unsa ra medical ko lang din so mal same gare but I do not have interest in engineering ma medicine gorsu mene mere full plan thi because my dad is a doctor my dad maybe I have very good rapport with my dad and I have been seeing how he was serving people but you know maybe because of that reason I developed interest in medical field. It was always in my head. Yeah, I just got in one college which wasn't preferred by me and my family. 
Uh, and after that, what I did was I applied for architecture uh, in India, uh, in Noida. I got uh, admission. I paid few amount of money there. And uh, then Miami or Jirama or Nepal, I was like, I'm going Nepal. I'm going to try it. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it beforehand. I'm going to try it. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. If you don't get through it, it's okay. Go back to architecture. That's there. Uh, Secure so to me, but go ahead and try one. And when I was around, I came here, I gave an entrance and medicine. I went, I got through medicine. Uh, mm. But architecture was like when secure said, I did not want it to do a year loss, but deep inside me, I always wanted to do medicine. So, being a medicine student, and um, I also started from being a science student, but uh, things didn't well went and I eventually landed on management. That was different. But uh science for the study a stereo focus for the because uh, that is something serious subject or a subject serious to inam but it's more into that. So being on that note, uh, so how long hours uh, do you keep on studying or you put on separate for the Um for uh, first, I'll talk about my class 11 and 12 when I took science. Um, 10, ma, I was a very last hour student. I used to study last hour, Mama Treya. I'd be like, okay, I have to study when a last hour student no more. 11, 12, money, I had that. I, I think it's a very bad habit to study at the last hour. I'm developing that ability to study from beforehand. At the end, you will have less pressure and you can concentrate more on your subject. So that's mm -hmm. 11 to 11, I focused more on that. What I did was I liked botany, I liked zoology, I liked chemistry, so I focused that more. Physics was something I used to solve every day, new questions, though I didn't like physics a lot. So to the magma rakhira, I just did previous questions, physics question, other, I used to study continuously every day. Every day I can say, um, excluding tuition hours, because I used to have two tuitions every day. Mm -hmm. It would be one for maths and one for chemistry. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think so four to five hours daily, apart from the tuition that I do every day. So one part of subject called geology. So is it been dissection your favorite or not favorite? Uh, dissection was my favorite. Uh, though when we went first for dissection, people will be like, "Oh, they got scared." Uh, they'd be like, "No, it's so you just to buy it. like expression gone on there." I loved it. I loved looking at it. So you started with, with uh, is it orthom you started with? Um, uh, yes, sir. Sorry, I did not get it. The dissection classes start with polio dissection. Was it orthom? Oh, in uh, medicine. Yeah. Uh, no, first was uh, we get the caribou and this mom, we sir, I'm a respective teachers in all the government, so, um, like the section, any porn, anatomy, mean anatomy porn, you know, mm -hmm. ortho, a specific boy, now first family, biroco, skin, uh, feed, skin, cutaneous, nerves, mm -hmm. uh, arteries. Muscles for it. This kupashi we went for bones or toward mabala gopan. First time, the outer aspect for inside going. Then ortho bone going to be the kind rib cage or for And at the end of the day, we studied organs. So what kind of organs we saw? And the last was brain, head, skull. Go be the brain. What is the nervous system working? How's our nervous system working? What how brain looks? What are the components of it? Going to be the last mama brain. The first year so probably of you might have gone with the dissection of that drug as well. Um, yes, I did when I was in class 11, I did it. Okay. So we'll be talking about more of your pageantry journey as well as modeling, but right now we start one segment. So this is about either and or, so you need to pick up one option among the two given options. Uh, right. Ambika, would you love makeup or no makeup? No makeup. Any specific reason for that? Because I don't know how to do it, and I prefer bare face with very good skin. Okay. Uh, perfume or body spray? Perfume. Runway modeling or photo shoot? Runway, runway modeling. Mm -hmm. 
casuals or party wear casuals mm -hmm. high heels or flats um i like flats but for now i have to choose high heels so high heels okay. long hair or short hair long hair mm -hmm. so is there any special resume to take care of your long hair uh i don't have any any specific regime for that but main thing oiling your hair is very good i guess because since my, my hair is blessed because of the hereditary tree i got my mom had a very good hair she still she don't have it right now because now she's getting old she had lots of hair for before that she had very good hair everybody used to talk about her hair during her teenage yeah. times and her 20 30s so i was blessed by good hair uh, because of my mom but apart from that my mom was the one who take took care of my hair she used to oil my hair um, she used to uh, do different natural remedies like putting egg and uh, different other natural ingredients and putting it on my hair but i guess the very easiest way and the very fast way to improve your hair is oiling your hair okay. so back to the segment uh, hair coloring or natural hair color I like hair coloring. Okay. In terms of party, pool party or Halloween party? Mm, I guess Halloween because I have never been to any Halloween party. Mm -hmm. Many friends or just few and close friends? Few and close friends. Plus, I'm very introvert and I just have few friends uh, who is very who you know who are very dear to me. So, few. uh friends who are always with you and who motivate you who are positive mm -hmm. aspects in your life so i want few and good friends pizza or burger pizza long nails or short nails short nails necklace or bracelet uh i think so bracelet flower garden or vegetable garden vegetable garden okay so we move on to second segment and this would be the option with 3 and you need to rank 1 to 3 according to your priority uh water rafting bungee jumping and paragliding so if you need to experience what would be first second and third um first would be water rafting uh paragliding and then bungee jumping okay likewise trekking jungle safari and hot air balloon hot air balloon uh, mm -hmm. jungle safari trekking okay so this is you are the best in so accordingly you rank it singing cooking and acting um cooking mm -hmm. acting and singing i think the third will be acting and singing together because i am very bad singer and i have never tried acting i i tried tiktok once I yeah. looked at the video and I was like, "No, you can't do it." And I just deleted and uninstalled the TikTok. So, okay. first would be cooking, and third, in the third, will be uh, singing and acting together. Okay. So, what is your favorite recipe in terms of cooking? Uh, my favorite uh, recipe would be uh, it's creamy. Uh, cauliflower and okay. potato i don't know specifically kinamo but i we use cream on it it's cauliflower and potato mixture so i like that that's my favorite and i know how to cook that very well okay. so you often cook or whenever you get time um i cook when i am in mood rather than time i don't cook often okay. so in terms of dresses uh the thing that you may not like to wear that would be the first then second and the third sleeveless halter and tube uh tube halter uh mm -hmm. sleeveless okay uh likewise uh the dress you might not like to wear the first and then rest high waist shorts or hot pants hot pants um 
high waist shorts according to the priority the thing that you love the most or you love to carry laptop android or ios mm, android laptop ios okay uh according to your choice you may not like to try cocktail mocktail or wine um wine cocktail mocktail okay. uh what you are not put this thing at the first lazy rowdy and selfish selfish um, rowdy lazy and similar ranking short temper absent mind gossip girl gossip girl um absent mind short tempered now keep in positive way what you are the first bold bubbly and beautiful mm, beautiful bold ugly okay similarly honest helpful and hard working helpful hard working honest likewise fun loving friendly and forgiving i didn't get the third option sir forgiving um fun loving uh, friendly forgiving okay so as you mentioned earlier you are introvert as you said so being an introvert and working as a model how difficult it was been for you uh it was very difficult because mm, most of the models i saw most of them they are quite you know extrovert they go approach people they talk to them uh, and uh, that's what they are that's mm. the way i mostly see models mm. not only in nepal in different countries in india as well they are very extrovert they talk they smile with everyone uh even i like to do that but i am very introvert when it comes at the first place when i am in a room full of people first time my expression gets blank i don't give very friendly expression maybe and some of the people they mistake it taking i'm very proud i am not yeah. that yeah yeah uh, so yes so after that um, when i know people i'm quite friendly with them uh yeah. but um now when i am in modeling sector in nepal when you do one fashion show next fashion show you get one familiar face or the other yeah. familiar face mm -hmm. it can be a choreographer it can be um, the organizer it can be the makeup artist it can be the designer or it can be your fellow a model friend so after like first two fashion show it was very easy for me to gel in with the other contestants but definitely when i'm now going to the very uh, different country with the different other contestants from all over the world i have to be not like very extrovert but at least i have to initiate conversation with them either a small mm -hmm. conversation or not but i have to do that and i'm developing that um so it was hard for me before but now i think uh, not i don't have to be extrovert but at least i have to start some um initiative to go ahead and talk to people and i'm trying that so that may keep you in between the word call every word so you change yourself to extrovert but you don't become extrovert you remain as every word that means in between yes. extrovert as well as introvert mm -hmm. So yes. similar thing is with me as well. Uh, being an extrovert, I do call myself as an extrovert, but time and again I need to change myself according to profession and according to what I am doing so far. So now uh, introvert, कुन और थमे तो मैं आपले आपले introvert मान लूँ सर. So तो पहले strangers अंग बोलने को लागी time लागने मौके कारणे या you want uh, that kind of opportunity uh, to initiate yourself. Um. I, it's hard for me to talk to strangers on the oji uta reason i feel i'm very introvert is that uh, when um, i know that person um like i have met that person around one to two times mm -hmm. but still um um when i'm in a party i be a bit socially awkward type i don't go ahead and very be very friendly with that person again okay. so i i 
I think so. I just say hi, hello. I don't. It's not that I don't talk to them, but I can't be very friendly with everyone. So okay. maybe that also makes me introvert. Even though I met that person or two to three times, it's hard for me to be very close or very very friendly with everyone. Okay. So is it been difficult situation you have faced uh, because of this nature? Um. Yes, I can say that. uh because it's not like <clears throat> you are going to a class you stay all by own and study when you are in entertainment field you have to smile you have to talk sometimes mm-hmm. you have to talk much more than oh. than expected and mm-hmm. i don't do that uh-huh. i am doing sometimes but i don't do that much often so that makes me i feel like okay either i'm being ignored or either i'm not being noticed but it is sometimes it brings self doubt in mm-hmm. me So again, another profession that you are working for, being a doctor. Again, you need to talk to your patients, listen yeah. them. So that again requires you to change a little bit more. So yes. in process, you are doing so that's good, and we hope to see you being changed in that aspect as well. Mm-hmm. Now coming back to Miss Grandatal. So things happen, and things happen very positively, and things happen something that you wish to be. and something that you were on and now you are official delegate to represent Nepal at Grand International so you are talking something that happened in during the lockdown so what motivated you to be the part of the pageant uh after i joined uh, miss grand nepal and i got the uh, verification from their side that yes now you're officially one of the participant or one of the contestant for miss grand nepal in the orientation of bulanwa when i had a journey to the orientation i went to the orientation place it was in luna luna restaurant uh, thambel so i was there i was sitting there still i had like self doubt i will i like maybe i'll withdraw maybe i don't think so it's for me till i entered the hall that was my um, inner voice saying no no i don't you don't i don't think so you should do it it was always something that was saying me mm-hmm. i went inside the orientation um uh, i'll say again suresh sir was next to me the national director or the contestant was there nishadi was at the left hand side um mm-hmm. g- giving all experience showing um slide sharing what she did in this grand international mm-hmm. she was that that time i realized it's not just a beauty pageant you have to represent your country at that time i got that mm-hmm. um awareness i can say i was not still i wasn't still aware that i'll be going international i have to represent my country from mozali i did not know about it they had the mm-hmm. international stage they came mainly when she was shouting nepal but it was that gave me goosebumps and after that national director was there again i'll repeat i still remember whatever he was saying whatever i remember every single line i remember his quotes regarding buddha i reco- i remember his quotes regarding john keats he told me a thing of beauty is joy forever he, i remember everything he was sitting next to me mm-hmm. i remember everything orientation was over i went there and then still i was sitting very alone i was sitting alone and one of the contestant was there jessica she came there she talked to me we had a rap we both were talking and after that i went back home i still thought about it i talked to my friend i told my friends that i i should i take or not i have one good friend and he consulted me and said me that i i think so you should go you have that in you see think it very with a very clear mind i know things are going inside your mind sit think very clearly what are the pros and cons what you expect from yourself what you expect from the pageant um that this is a chance where you can go ahead and represent your country and make a history so mm-hmm. that time i realized it. yes i have to give my 100% whatever mm-hmm. it will be result depends on the hard work the contestant does and whatever will be the result doesn't matter i'll go ahead and um i'll go ahead and take part in it it will be a learning experience or it can be a history in making so i i went ahead and took part in it so right now we will be sharing some of your pictures and let's know the moments and recall the things uh, during those pictures with shot all right so we start with this one um 
this time was when I was standing. You were also there, and uh, I still remember you announcing the next Miss Grand Nepal 2020 is. Then you gave a pause, and then you took my name. I remember everything. I was standing there. I was standing with the other contestants, Zina and Suzata. I was like, yes, it is. Yes, this is it. I made it, Pandit. Right? It was just in my head. I made it, Pandit. That only that was inside my head. Okay. This was also a <clears throat> final round of a um, a competition. I can say it's a okay. artist support program from Studio Nepal, and mm -hmm. I took part and I was the winner. This was the last shoot. So yeah, it was um, some thematic shoot, and they were telling do something different. You know? so, though it was, it's not very different. The pose is not very different, but still, I gave a try. And just after the shoot, the after next two days, I was announced as the winner for uh, first artist support program from Studio Nepal, and I was a brand ambassador for Studio Nepal for a year. Mm -hmm. this this has a very special memory um i was in un women and a different country from different people delegate from different country was there one girl is there she's an activist she is from jordan her name mm -hmm. is malak okay. um she is a very kind soul uh, i met her in un women committee and then we had a talk I really liked the way she used to put hijab, and she was very welcoming. She to talked about her re religion. She talked about Nepal. And I, I told you, really look good with this hijab on her. She explained me what is hijab on her. And then she told me, why don't you give a try? You look really good on her. And it is in her room. She um, she told me, okay, I'll put hijab on you. You have to take a picture of one word. And I took a picture of hijab. And this is something I remember from my lifetime. This is the first time I put on hijab. And I, you know, I, that experience was really beautiful for me. Oh, this. <laughs> this picture is with. Anil sir, Anil Keshvisa, he's one of my, my mentor. He's the one who uh, always said, um, um, "You, uh, there's something in you. You should take part in pageant Mandarin one of our things." Okay. So maybe I took his um, suggestion, or I don't know. It wasn't just because of the suggestion. It was mm -hmm. like I just took part in it. But Anil sir is a very good mentor. He's a a uh, very good person. He is very close to me. So this picture was in his office. I do remember my phone was in very bad condition, and he was the one who took his phone. He took a selfie with me, and he he forwarded it to me. So yeah, I uploaded that. And here it's me, a new sir, and the Buddha. Uh, this was uh, this was twenty nineteen. 2019, yeah, it was 2019 because 2020 was full of lockdown. I didn't have much fashion show. This was Lobin Monsoon Fashion Show 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, I This dress was, I, I don't remember the store, but um, it was... Um, it was one of the stores in Lobby Mall. What happens in Lobby Mall show is that every different store provide clothing to you. You have to go in, ahead and select it and you have to walk, wear that, the latest collection. And then you have to work in that show. So it was organized by Innovative Entertainment. And it was a very fun experience. It's my second time working for the Lobby Monsoon Fashion Show. It was a very great experience. Uh, this was for... Um, TGIF. Uh, it was like model watch. And um, what happened in this shoot was uh, one uh, one editor was there. Her name is Angela Shrestha. So she told me, why didn't you come here? You should have a shoot with TGIF Bonnubo. And though she left her, uh, though she left her job after mm -hmm. she approached me, uh, then she told to one other girl from um, I forgot which college she was but she was doing her internship in Himalayan times so she called me again and she told me why don't you do a shoot there you will have a shoot with Samim Khan um, 
Ukusha, Ukushagiri and you, you it will be in the front page and you have to have that shoe on you got it and that wasn't published unfortunately because of some other issue and then again they called me this for this shoot uh, another editor called me from Himalaya Times her name is Mitu Kissing and she told me uh, as a hamro lobby ko top floor ma there is some setup you have to do shoot there but i was in class i couldn't attend her call mm-hmm. at the end what happened she just got one model anyhow and she did a shoot though the shoot was not as she expected she thought me in that shoot mindset got it wrong while i bola no khuzm bo pets unfortunately my phone was in silent i didn't gonna pay na and for a friday issue or thursday issue they do it 3 4 days before the shoot so when i was say plan going to go no khuzm bo pets unfortunately mothena everything was set up so she got another model she, she also worked in himalaya times maybe so the model khujera she got the, that model and she did a shoot but that shoot was not as she expected so again she cancelled it and tomorrow she this pictures are going to publish as i like the day before i went yeah. there i did a shoot again we just got clothes from a uh, few designers or few stores and then mm. we did a shoot it was a very last hour shoot and very unplanned but it went good mm. um this was also for uh our uh, lobin monsoon fashion show but it was for 2018 okay. first my first year in lobin monsoon fashion show and I remember wearing that dress if for um uh and fashionista and mm-hmm. I took this dress because it's all ripped and that's something I don't I don't think so other models would take and that jacket was also totally ripped mm-hmm. so that's why I preferred this this clothes for me uh this is for uh Dhaka runway I wore this design is from Marshall uh, Marshall he's a designer uh, he has a designer studio in designing clothes studio in Lajimpat so he was the one who designed it for me uh, I wore it it was a surreal experience the makeup artist was uh, pretty click it was a very good experience though and the show stopper for this this um a sequence was uh, parmita i guess parmita okay this was also very unpredictable shoot but the result was very happy uh, you know very happening and the photographer was very happy with the shoot um this shoot was approached to me by one of the makeup artists her name is shriya manander she mm-hmm. works for glam shriya and mm-hmm. then amrit moharjan was the uh the photographer for this picture and it came very good it was in just in a one of the background of um shiadi's house it wasn't mm-hmm. even a studio so we just we just had a shoot and now i still work with amrit moharjan and he's a very good photographer he still gives me compliment that you know after this shoot he got so many bridal oh. uh, shoot uh, yeah so many bridal so many people who are getting uh, newly wedded so they approached him and told why don't we do a bridal shoot one day they approached gone boy gare and it's the profile i think this is the profile picture or the cover picture for his page photo mm-hmm. alert or something like that so yeah so you have done shoots you have done runways and you are the winner of a pageant now being specific in the pageant and in the runways so more or less uh, things are similar but do you enjoy more of pageantry or you enjoy runways after being part of mm-hmm. the pageant mm-hmm. I enjoy both but taking one thing very particular I would say pageantry because you know as I became a winner um uh, I see people having hopes with me I see people having uh that um emotion they have emotional attachment with me saying I think so you'll do something 
whether it will be representing our country, whether it will be an advocacy, whether it will be an organizers uh, working for their brand, anything, they they have expectation with you. So yes, but definitely in modeling also the designer and the makeup artist have expectation, but that's for one day. That's just for a period of time. And after pageantry, when you're in pageantry, you be a winner. Uh, they have that expectation throughout the life. So. I enjoy being pageantry, but it's very, very disciplined and very, um, you know, you have to work hard in it. You can't just be like, yes, I'm a beauty queen. That's all. You have to work after you become a beauty queen. So it's fun, but it's hard at the same time. So when offers comes up to you uh, regarding modeling assignments, other than the money you are going to get, what will be the things that you are going to judge regarding the project before you say yes? Now I'm not taking any project for now because now my full full concentration and full my dedication is in Miss Grand International. I have not taken any uh, shoots apart from two shoots which I have committed already before coming to Miss Grand Nepal because of COVID. COVID the situ the shoot was postponed and as soon as I was crowned they scheduled the shoot and I had the shoot for that. It was from for some advertisement. Uh, but apart from that I'm not taking any though I got a lot of approaches but I'm not doing any shoot for now but after i take part and uh, from miss grand international return back to nepal if i get any modeling project or if i get any project mm -hmm. first of all i have to see the content of it what is the content mm -hmm. another thing if it's spreading a message to the people what it is is it making mm -hmm. an impact and mm -hmm. I think so I'll give more more uh, priority to those projects, which is uh, either for the uh, funding side for an NGO or mm -hmm. it's something mm -hmm. relating to the message providing to the government, to the people. So I will be giving more priority to these type of projects because definitely there are some advertisement related to governments. Uh, there are some fashion show or there are some um, photo shoot for um, some brands which are contributing yeah. for women empowerment so i'll be giving priority to those rather than uh, giving priority to some um some other brands like either it would be a car brand bike brand or any other mechanical or materialistic brand i would be giving priority to those two first mm -hmm. so you work on more details uh, as we talk uh, is it because you have been a medicine student that started or from earlier days you work on details and then come to the conclusion maybe it's because of the experience i had um because uh, i what happened to me was i was in india i was uh, with my parents uh, they were there with me every time they did everything for me when i came to nepal i took medicine but at the same time, I took a decision to do modeling as well. So that made me more mature because it's, it wasn't a very, uh, you know, um, a very beautiful ride. Or I can say it's, it was very, it wasn't very comfortable ride as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I had so much difficulty. I had um, uh, such a disastrous experience. So okay. with that, I learned many things and maybe um maybe now i decide i work in details but i think so just like few disastrous moment uh, but that time also i guess i used to look through details but yeah unfortunate thing happens that happened but mm. i can say maybe just one or two project i did not work for details but everything apart from that all was about details the subject about it the uh concept what they are doing then i go forward otherwise i don't do it so i was bad since before. so coming to the final segment of this talk show uh, this would be if question so if you need to change your name if you wish to change it what name would you keep for yourself my name um i would keep durga because um, I would not like to change my name, but you already asked the question. Uh, my my name was given to me by my pupu, my dad's elder sister, and she kept her name. Her name is Durga, and she kept my name Ambika as an alternate name. So yeah. if the alternate name is going to be removed, I would be keeping her original name. So I would take yeah. Durga. So if animals could dance, 
which, which animal would you love to dance with? Dogs. If birds could talk as we human beings, with which bird would you love to talk at least an hour? I guess I would like to talk with a swan. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you could blossom as a flower, which flower would you love to be? Um, orchid. Okay. So if you need to be a family doctor to any celebrity from Nepal, who would be he or she? Celebrity. Yeah. Uh, you mean, um, uh, yes, I'm so sorry, sir, with you too. Uh, the person could be from any field. Any field, but um, you mean celebrity means somebody who is from entertainment field. I, mean, I, oh, I just yes, got confused. A whole person from any field can be celebrity. Any field, like it can be in politics or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, family doctor. I guess I would be uh for the king who is no more uh, the reigning king here i would i i think so i would be a family doctor to him yeah. with due respect because even though he's not in the power he is the king for yeah. us so i would yeah. definitely would love to be a family doctor to him so if you need to choose a color for friday what would be that color for i'm sorry sir color for a color for friday to dress yourself I would choose red. Okay. If you could select a brand to model for, then which brand would you love to model for? Um, brand. I think so. I would work. I would love to brand for Estee Lauder. Okay. Because it's a perfume brand, and I don't have much knowledge about it, but that was the first, you know, a very expensive, I can say, designer perfume I purchased or I got. So I would like to work with that Estee Lauder brand. So if you need to keep a designer as your wardrobe designer, a personal wardrobe designer, who would be the person? Wardrobe designer? Um... I think so. I know one girl. She her she is not that active in designing, but her name is Suman Sharma. She worked for SS Wardrobe. Mm -hmm. uh, not that very particular, but she's that person who helped me when I was working for Miss Grand Nepal. She's the person who helped me when I have to go for any event. So definitely not judging any designer by the name or the fame they have but the person but that i would be judging that person because that person helped me when i needed a uh, designer clothes or uh, she provided me she was available for me whenever i needed um but definitely there was some uh, i used to see her beforehand she used to be, she never said no whatever she had she used to give me suggestion you worry about so definitely i would keep her uh, as my personal uh, wardrobe stylist or designer because i'm very comfortable with her if you had the power to shrink anything and take it with you what would be that shrink anything and take it with me Mm, I think so. I would shrink uh, my house in India because my parents will be there already and they'll also be shrinked automatically and I can take them anywhere I am. So I know it's very funny or weird, but I would do that. So if you could have unlimited storage to store something, then what thing would you love to store in that unlimited store? I would... Um, store i guess um basic i think so food water and medicine mm -hmm. because that will not be that will not just be for me that will be for others as well i can help with that so looking for future and for the unlimited storage i would be giving food water medicine i would be so after you finish your mbbs what would be your next step um definitely doing masters in medicine I would 
love to do masters in medicine uh, i'm not specific about which subject i will take uh, but further studies is already in plan so i don't have much because i can't just say i want to be in this field you know we have to explore the interest in specific subject by studying that so i'm still in the process i don't know what i'll be doing which specific subject i'll be taking but i'll still be doing masters in medicine or in surgery so at the very moment what fascinates you to be a doctor wearing that white coat wearing that stethoscope around your neck or measuring the pulse of the person i think so yes a main thing i would be saying interacting with patient or it is similar to measuring the pulse of the patient and person you told already uh, though we have very less contact with the patient but whenever we get a chance to have a uh, contact or an question answer or have any interaction with the patient that is the best thing for me in being in this so being miss grand nepal 2020 you would be representing nepal at grand international so what responsibility uh, you take personally this is what i am going to take the responsibility um the responsibility is definitely i will be representing nepal more than i'll be representing myself i would mm -hmm. be representing nepal's essence mm -hmm. what nepal exactly is as i always say nepal is not just about mountains it's not about mm -hmm. just like um, buddha was born in nepal definitely we were blessed with that but it's mm -hmm. more than that it's about the people it's about the intellectual people our country has it's about uh the the aura the culture everything it's about science so i will be representing that more i'll be letting people know about nepal i i want them to explore nepal through me so they will be exploring nepal by seeing me by visualizing me in that international platform so that's the concept like, to let people explore more about nepal to know to make people know what is the capability of nepal so mm. that is what i want to do in the international platform so other than you being crowned you being announced as the winner of miss grand nepal 2020 what other interesting things do you recall from miss grand nepal interesting things is um about you also getting a training from you because you are always you know one of the person i looked at and you know, you getting some international award you being the godfather for helping people explore more about themselves either it can be in modeling either it can be in designing sector either it can be personality development for the future doctors or it can be for children who want to explore their dream and want to be in beauty it is all about it you are a package and i always look forward to work with you um i i was expecting um, that you would be our choreographer for few fashion show i was expecting that but i'm good luck that i got i i'm i'm you know lucky that i got training from you you were uh, giving training but not only just training in work training about personality training about life essence everything so that was one of the best part the second best part was the girls there who were my who were work who were the contestant for miss grand nepal 2020 they are beautiful they still support me they still love me they don't have that thinking that okay she is the winner okay that's the end they don't think that they are still rooting for me they are still helping me out they are asking how i am how is the preparation going so that is another best part yeah. and the third i can say nishadi who is always there the person where the national director and the organizers so i think so total i don't want to compare and you know minimize any of the beautiful experience i had in this grand nepal everything was beautiful in this grand nepal though there is some up and down we had up and down but at the end of the day it was a very beautiful journey So though year 2020 when most of the phase on lockdown, but in the later half we had events. So you are one of the queens among more of the queens in Nepal. So where you place yourself when you see other queens? Um, 
we are our beauty pageant is not connected with each other because if they are miss nepal they are miss in them like there are some like they are miss nepal the four queens there and um the miss universe the recently crowned miss universe is there i'm there who will be representing nepal in the international platform we don't have connection but when you are a reigning queen you are a reigning beauty queen for a year in a year and they are also a reigning queen in the same year definitely you have some um you know soft corner for them and you think that okay i hope and i wish them luck i hope they do something great in international platform they will make a history whether it's their platform it can be miss nepal earth it can be miss nepal world but mm -hmm. i hope they do something good because you know they you have that soft corner when you have you are in the same year beauty queen so okay. so i definitely i have lots of expectations with them they are beautiful they are you know strong in their own way we can't compare miss world nepal with miss universe nepal you cannot compare miss nepal earth with uh, miss nepal world so they are beautiful in their own way it's just like going to the international platform in their respective um, pageantry pageant line um, going there working working for nepal working for nepal and at the end of the day bringing crown to nepal is the main thing and i think they are very strong so hope for the best hope miss uh, oh, so hope nepal will be um, welcoming one of the international crown in nepal i hope so we do hope on that way and being very positive we wish you all the best as well so we are already done with 56 plus minute uh, talking with you so now let's move on to the conclusion So what would be your final words as the queen of Miss Grand Nepal to anyone and everyone who would be watching and who are watching Final words you mean right Yeah Um final words will be that keep dreaming keep believing in yourself because maybe i believed in myself that's why i'm here in front of you keep believing in yourself um at the end of the day Uh, your life even though you are having a right a very very hard time it will come back to track you will be in track you will finally achieve your dream so ami uh, ambika joshi rana sanga ko kura kani ko antim shan ma thyo ra alikati hamro connection to ta pugeko cha we are hoping that she would be back and will be getting that last uh, final talk with her and then Uh, formally hami wala like, good bye manna saksum so related with uh, ambika she was been crowned as miss grand nepal in on 13th of december at mozubuti so hotel mid baneshwar kathmandu and the event was I'm been so organized sorry, by sir. i'm so sorry sir i'm so sorry we just got disconnected okay, no problem so i was talking about your event so let's continue with your last words Oh, I'm so sorry the internet issue happened and it just got disconnected. So yes, believe in yourself even though you have a very hard time. Um uh, at the end of the day whatever is not in the place it will come to place. So uh final words ko lagi hami thori disturb bhai ka so uh, I guess this would uh, be continuing in the good mode. ra uh, she would be joining miss grand international 2020 that would be hosted at thailand and finale is on schedule 27th march 2021 and would be seeing ambika from nepal and lots of other participants from international scene ambika is mbbs student and done with fashion and modeling scene uh, lots of photo shoots some of the memorable shoes that she walked for a uh, Dhaka bridal runway IC designers runway where she was one of the major models to sashay at the designers clothes and that was all there so ami ambika sanga ko connection lai ek chhan kordai chhu till then uh, let's move on with some of her pictures recall garna chahanchu jun agi hami le tel pani dekhaka thyu ya le
Okay, I'm big up. We're back. So, Ambika, you can continue. I'm sorry again, sir. Second thing is that never lose hope. And another thing, the last last thing is, is that take care of your health very important thing so take care of your health as well so that's it so that was the final words by ambika and we had a good talk with ambika learn a lot from her and yes we wish her uh all the best for her journey right there at Miss Grand International and we hope that she would be doing good at all and making the event look better in presentation of Nepal. Uh, we would be having this scene, the Miss Grand International co-participation battle, something of the achievement to Aisege Basi Firbeni, this platform would be looking on her for another process of being the winner in international scene as well we hope in that positive note rambika thank you so much for being the part of the event and yes wish you all the best for your future and we would be looking very positively to see dr ambika joshi rana in near future very soon and wish you all the best for miss grand international that's it thank you ambika for being the part of the show Rambika Sangoko, you put a cany honey put on it. We'd like to say goodbye to her. We'll see you on next episode of Talking to Me with some other guests, some other people. Till then, you have to start, you have to buy a little bit of a house. You have to go Stay healthy, stay free, and enjoy the life as well as you can. See you on next episode. This is Bye bye.